punch two rounds on top of each other. Um, so they're two double penetrating hits right on top of each other. Um, with our current setup right now and not having an optic on that, we're gonna switch to the 5.56 five, round of it. Um, that way we can put a multiple array of hits back onto the plate without breaking the tape back off of it. So, so you're saying one round on top of one another, so the armor would stud that? Yes, sir. Okay. As you look at the front of the plate here, you see what looks to be like a lot of damage done to the plate. This is exactly what the plate's designed to do. Um, if you notice, I know it'd probably be hard for your viewers to see, there's no pieces of metal, there's no pieces of the actual projectile laying on the ground here. They're all absorbed inside the plate here. If you look up here, down into the bucket though, you can see as clear as water that there's no rounds that actually penetrated through. It's a very robust plate, so it can take a number of different rounds. And it's a uh, level four is designed to stop the uh, the M2, 30 out six M2, which is a, a tungsten uh, four round. It's designed to stop one round of that. And today we're going to shoot it with a lesser threat so we can get more rounds on the plate itself. So the reason why we're shooting the AR and the AK um, in the current stateside developments as well as openly a lot of people are getting engaged with these two rifle platforms so i feel that this is the best way for us to show you exactly how this works the water test on the bucket is not a standardized test it is not uh, accredited what it is is a field expedient test which allows us the opportunity to recreate almost the upper torso cavity 